I finally got the engine mount done and painted. Weighs about mm, five pounds. Haven't got to bolt it down yet. Got to center it up. Gonna have to do some more front end work. Kind of ugly looking. I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of notching right here for the carburetor. I had to see how much room it just does clear, but I think we got a bowl and stuff in the way, so. See, I got the, each of the factory motor mounts. And I think that'll pull it along. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back once again. 1030 S Bill with me, Scott. And I've got these uh, <clears throat> engine mounts up here. I got to fill in the holes. I actually didn't make this whole deck solid wood inside. The uh, plans just called for it here and there, you know, for a Rotax motor. But um, after previously trying to purchase a uh, thump air motor from Scott Scalsey, which of course you've probably heard enough of about. He, he uh, took my money and didn't give me anything. He stole my money. And I still haven't got it back yet. Meanwhile, um, I made it for that. And so I had adequate wood in the area where I needed it for that. But then I had to switch to the Simone motor. And it, of course, with this contraption I'm making here, I wish the whole thing was solid wood. So I got just a small three quarter board in the back I gotta try to catch. Then I got about a four inch gap with no wood backing inside. And then I have a, uh, mm, about six inches up front that is solid wood. And then I might as well modify the side you know, while I get this off. This is it right here. Cut that out. Looks like I'm gonna be okay on the dark side. And you can see this this uh, this mount here. What I was trying to do is you see it's got a lower drive instead of it coming up to upper drive. The problem with upper drive there is they block the, the cooling of the motor. Those of you to mess with two strokes there to get real hot. You don't want to ever block any wind going to them whatsoever in any manner, shape, or form. If you do, you're eventually going to overheat, seize up, do all kinds of stuff. So, what I don't want to do is uh, have prop pitch hitting the ground. I got a prop that goes on the thump air, but I don't think it's going to work. It's, uh, it was made for the thump air, which had the higher um, mount sort of. It gave me two or three more inches of clearance, actually. So, uh, I haven't tried it yet. As soon as I get it on here, I will, but it looks like I had to send it for color back. It maybe get a three blade, I don't know, because uh, even though it isn't a good line, it's right in the ve uh, force vector line, right down the center line of the of the wing and everything. <laughs> Mid-body, uh, almost mid-center gravity. So it's, a, it's a real, actually a good location. We'll see how that works out. Uh, Seaman any Italian motor, so it's got metric nuts and bolts. I went and got some stainless steel ones. 
from my buddies over at Ace Hardware. Thank you guys. Some stainless steel washers and stuff like that. Some bolt for the engine mounts. I got some temporary, just some rubber steel ones in there right now. And back to the workbench you go. And it's about, you know, 40 pounds, I think 42 pounds. You don't want to drop it. Well, when you know it, the kit called out um, 4-26A's, and the only thing I got is 4-20's. But you know what? That's no more fun. These holes, you see, see where I'm getting at. and some drill bits with the lock in. Let me drive a little more precise. I needed it back when I put in the yoke assembly and all that. Tights the floorboard, but didn't have it then. again. This thing's awesome. Included one and it takes three. And I've been pretty pretty frugal with it. Looks like I haven't opened a third one yet, so maybe two and a half would do it. 
We'll see. Either way, you need three to do the job. <clears throat> Hope y'all having a great day. Man, it's a beautiful day here. It's a nice beautiful sunny temperatures dropped a little bit. It's down in the high 70s. Got the swimming pool going on. Grandkids playing in it. Got a bunch of rain while back. Got all the flowers and the garden going. Look, Lord, blessing your life. Hope you're treating people like they should be treated. Hope you're not stealing or lying or thieving or none of that. You already better get down here and knees and pray you forgive them because you'll be in trouble. Not only in this life, but later. We all make mistakes, though. Here we want us. I know, I sure. I had my share doing stuff wrong as I was coming up. Still got a lot to, to do as far as improving myself. I know we all do. The never ending process in trying to improve yourself. But, but you know, read the Bible, the biggest thing we need to worry about is how we treat each other. Does that mean we should allow people to walk all over us? No. Does that mean we can give them the benefit of the doubt? Yep. Yeah. Got me a little bird living over there. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the nest. Yeah, I think you can. It's uh, up there where I keep my parts manuals and stuff. I went to put one away the other day. And uh bird flew, just missed my head, blew out of there. Got four little, four five little chicks in there. I kind of wish you would find a different place to make a nest, but it's already made one now. Baby wrens, a little small, these bitty birds, got kind of a long beak, brown, light brown, with a nice dark brown stripe down, you know what I'm talking about. Pretty popular southeastern America. A particular kind of wren. Shop the other day it took me three hours just to sweep the tag on the floor. Yeah. All right, we'll coming up next video. Time for an engine. Um, we'll see how the carburetor fits. We're gonna put the fuel pump up, the gas line, throttle cable. I need to get a throttle fighter. Um, and 
you got the dashboard to finish hooking up, the wiring and all that, the battery. Ain't sure where I'll put the battery, but I have room here, I have room here. I might even have some room right in the middle of the back. A pretty small battery. It's a lithium battery. Fifty cranking in. Look at this gonna be enough. A little push right here tell you people to. You know, they don't weigh nothing, which I like. Most plain people do like their things to get lighter, right? This this engine package, even the motor mount and everything else, is probably and the battery, maybe even the pilot, is, is twenty to thirty pounds lighter than probably what the design was. Work out good. Maybe a little more uh, flexibility, a little more security. Uh, I'll see you next time. We're going to try to get the fuselage done, get it uh, out of the way as much as possible. Everything but wrapping it. Uh, probably won't start the motor yet. The warranty starts when you, when you start the motor, so I'll probably wait till uh, later on. Hopefully, it'll be okay. And uh, we're going to be working on the wing rib though, very see on the table back and forth. So, see you next time. Take care and don't forget to keep looking up. That's where the saver's coming from. Take care.